Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we discuss everything trending in pop culture. Today, we're diving into the latest buzz surrounding Krispy Kreme and their collaboration with the iconic TV show Friends to celebrate its 30th anniversary. This collaboration has stirred quite a bit of reaction, so let's break it down. Krispy Kreme has launched four limited edition donuts inspired by memorable moments and catchphrases from Friends. These include the Friends Donut, a classic original glazed with chocolate icing, sprinkles, and a white chocolate topper. Next, we have the How You Doin' Donut, named after Joey Tribbiani's famous line, featuring a purple icing with mango and passion fruit frosting. There's also the Trifle Friends Donut, a nod to Rachel's infamous Thanksgiving trifle, filled with strawberry and custard, dusted with chocolate curls and green sprinkles. Lastly, we have the We Were On A Coffee Break Donut, which combines cafe latte-flavored icing with frosting and a chocolate swirl, finished with a white chocolate topper. These sound delicious, don't they? However, there's a catch these donuts are only available at Krispy Kreme locations in the UK. This has left many U.S. fans puzzled and disappointed. Considering Friends is an American show, fans were expecting these treats to be available in the U.S. as well. One fan even mimicked Chandler Bing's iconic catchphrase, saying, Could I be more disappointed this isn't available here? The confusion among fans is understandable. Friends was a huge success in the U.S., and it seems odd that such a collaboration would be exclusive to the U.K. One fan pointed out on Instagram that Britain has an unusual obsession with friends, seeing it as their connection to New York City, which might explain the decision. Some fans were critical of the timing, questioning the relevance of this collaboration since friends ended its run decades ago. They found it strange that a show this old would still inspire such promotions. Despite this, there are still many who appreciate the effort and the nostalgia that comes with it. It's interesting to see how Krispy Kreme has tied these donuts to specific moments and catchphrases from the show. The We Were On A Coffee Break donut, for example, not only references Ross and Rachel's infamous break, but also adds a coffee flavor to connect with Central Perk, the coffee house where the friends often gathered. Despite the mixed reactions, the collaboration has certainly garnered attention. Whether it's positive or negative, people are talking about it, and that's often the goal of such marketing efforts. Krispy Kreme has succeeded in bringing friends back into the conversation, even if just for a little while. For those in the UK, it's a great opportunity to try these themed donuts and relive some of the show's best moments. For those elsewhere, it's a reminder of how deeply friends has embedded itself in our cultural fabric. It shows the enduring popularity of the show, even after all these years. So, what do you think about this collaboration? Is it a smart marketing move or a missed opportunity by not including the U.S. market? Let us know in the comments below. Now, let's move on to some questions and answers about this collaboration. First question, why did Krispy Kreme choose the U.K. for this exclusive release? As mentioned, Friends has a massive following in the UK, and it's considered a significant part of their cultural connection to New York City. This could have influenced the decision to launch the donuts there. Second question, how have fans reacted to the flavors? The reactions have been mixed. Some fans love the idea and the names, appreciating the effort to connect each donut to a specific moment from the show. Others, however, feel the flavors are not that exciting and don't live up to the hype. Third question, why do fans find the timing strange? Friends ended its run in 2004, making it a show that aired decades ago. Some fans feel that celebrating its 30th anniversary with a donut collaboration now is a bit outdated and question its relevance today. Fourth question, could Krispy Kreme expand this collaboration to other countries? It's possible. If the collaboration is successful in the UK, Krispy Kreme might consider expanding it to other markets, including the US, where there is a significant fan base for Friends. Fifth question, are there any other notable promotions for Friends 30th anniversary? Yes, in addition to the donuts, there's a new 4K Blu-ray box set being released this fall. This shows that the celebration of Friends anniversary is multifaceted, catering to both food lovers and collectors alike. In conclusion, the Krispy Kreme and Friends collaboration has sparked a wide range of reactions. While some fans are thrilled by the themed donuts, 
others are disappointed by the limited availability and the choice of flavors. This collaboration highlights how deeply Friends has impacted pop culture and how even decades later, it continues to be a significant part of our lives. It's a reminder of the nostalgia and the lasting influence of Friends. Even though the show ended years ago, its legacy lives on through such promotions. It's fascinating to see how different brands leverage pop culture to create buzz and engage with their audience. And that wraps up our discussion for today. Thank you for tuning in and sharing your thoughts on this interesting collaboration between Krispy Kreme and friends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things trending in pop culture. Until next time, stay sweet and keep watching.